We're in Madrid at the Prado, and we're looking at a Velasquez, a large painting. This is the Vulcan Forge. It's been described by some art historians as a kind of burlesque, actually. Well, here's <laughs> Apollo, who we can see the god of the sun and the god of poetry with the halo on his head on the left, who's here telling Vulcan, who is forging a suit armor. Of armor and is very hard at work all day. And Apollo has just come to tell him that his wife Venus has been having an affair with Mars, the god of war. Now, look, just look at the attitudes of those two faces. So, I mean, forget about the rest of the painting for just a moment. Apollo, his back arches, he, his head is up. He's sort of rather full of himself, actually. Yeah. You know, as he has this very powerful message to sort of almost scold Vulcan with. And Vulcan looks horrified and dangerous. He's holding this red hot metal. In one hand, he's got a hammer in the other, and it looks like he's ready to just strike any and look at his body. He's got this beautiful torso, muscles, and these ripples in his abdomen. But his face has like that kind of Caravaggio feel of he's not ideally beautiful. World. I mean, he's got this ideally beautiful body. In fact, all of the male figures have ideal bodies, as though Velasquez was looking at ancient Greek and Roman sculpture, or looking at the artists of the Renaissance, maybe Michelangelo, and also looking at the art of Caravaggio. But the heads are different, aren't they? They are. They're not so idealized, no. as you pointed out. In fact, the heads are incredibly naturalistic, yeah. even though they're painted in a fairly loose manner. So there's this conflict in this painting between this kind of realism and down-to-earthness and the figures and what they're doing and their gestures and the emotions that they convey, but also this sense that they're kind of standing like classical sculptures and their bodies look like classical sculptures. Well, but here's the thing is that I don't think the French or the Italians would have rendered an important mythological subject with this much almost sort of comedy involved, right? Yeah. Look at the man who is second from the right. He looks sort of astonished. I mean, it's really absurd. <laughs> so there is this kind of sort of direct human sort of sense of yeah. conflict and humor that seems very debasing in some way, really not treating the classical with the kind of honor that it's usually accorded. At the same time, though, it looks like an academic exercise because we have the three male figures in the center th shown from three different points of view. The one on the left, Vulcan, shown frontal. The next one shown from behind. The third one shown in profile. And the last figure on the right shown foreshortened and coming out toward Those us. Those first so, three, almost like if they were female figures, like the three graces. Exactly. It looks very orderly and composed and balanced and a little bit like a performance for maybe possible future patrons. I mean, here's Velasquez. He's still relatively young. He's made a trip to Rome at the urging of Rubens and perhaps demonstrating his skill as an artist who can paint the male nude. It certainly shows an artist who's willing to sort of reinvent or push the boundaries, the ways in which stories are told. Mm -hmm.